All right. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We come out week in, week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked and sinful kingdom. We are also out here to tell our people, God's people, according to the Bible, the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, indigenous people from North, Central, and South America, that you are the Israelites, according to biblical prophecy. We are here to tell you to repent because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. We are out here to tell you to turn back to the Lord for the days of evil are at hand. The days of judgment are at hand. The Lord is about to bring his wrath, his terror upon the planet earth. And if you do not repent, if you do not turn back to the Lord, you will be caught up in the wrath of the Lord. You will be caught up in the judgment of the Lord. Regardless if you believe it or not, regardless if you believe in God or not, you will all meet your maker. Everybody has a creator, and his name is Yahweh, who the world eagerly calls God, and his son name is Yahweh Shah, who the world eagerly calls Jesus the Christ. And we are here to confess the names of those powers, the words of those powers, to the people, all right? This is Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 5. Thus saith the Lord God, and evil, and only evil, behold, is come, and end is come, the end is come, and watch it for thee, behold, it is come. An evil is come. An evil is come. And what does evil mean? Bad times. So it says the evil is coming. And this is what we are here to tell you about. We're telling you the evil that's about to happen in your lives. You think it's gonna be business as usual, but it's not. You think that you're gonna be able to wake up and go to work, go to the supermarket when you want, go shopping, buy clothes, hang out, party. But I'm here to tell you that those things are coming to an end. We are coming into an economic collapse. We are coming into the crash of the dollar bill. We are coming into dark times, a lack of food, famine. We're coming into even more uh, worse pestilence than the C-19. You think the C-19 is bad, there's even far worse pestilence that the Lord is about to bring upon the planet Earth. And if you do not repent, if you do not turn back onto the Lord, if you do not hide in the shadow of the Most High, you will get caught up in the Lord's judgment. This is uh, Ephesians chapter 5, we start at verse uh, 15. See that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. So the Lord said, See then that you walk circumspectly. Look up the word circumspectly, Baba Kasha. See then that you walk circumspectly. What does it mean to walk circumspectly? Let's look it up. This is in the blue letter. All right. It says, Quick. Google it, whatever. No, okay. It says circumspectly. And the Greek is arakibos, which means accurately or diligently, diligently, or say, uh, or perfect, or exactly. Okay, diligently Google it. Google so see that that she walks circumspectly, meaning be diligent, be accurate, right? And what are you being diligent and accurate about? Looking for the Lord, repentance, fixing your life, right? To do the things that's pleasing to the Heavenly Father and the Son. Yeah. Right, it says, um, 
circumspectly and says in a careful and prudent way, mm -hmm. discreetly. Right. In a careful and prudent way. What are you supposed to carefully and prudently look for? The signs of the times. You're supposed to be looking out for the signs that the Lord told us to look out for before his second coming. Right? The Lord gave us events that was going to happen on the planet Earth. And we are supposed to look out for those events so we can know what time period we're living in. And based off the events that's happening on the planet Earth, we know that we're living in the end of days. We know that we're living in the last days. And what does it mean to live in the last days? The last days of this empire. This is the last days of wickedness being ruled. The last days of the heathens being in power. Go ahead, I said. And this is uh, the book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Knowing what time? You know what time period you're living in, in, in the planet Earth? And like I said earlier, we're living in the last days. We're living in the end of times, end of age. What age are we talking about? The age of wickedness. The age of promiscuity. The age of idolatry. The age of homosexuality. The age of do as thou wilt. We're living in the last days of the age of wickedness. Yeah. It says, but now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. So now, knowing the time, knowing that we're living in the last days of wickedness, we're living in the last days of America, it's high time to wake out of your slumber. What is your slumber? Your slumber is whatever you think is important whatever you prioritize in this world over the heavenly father and the son you prioritize the worldly things over the heavenly things you prioritize your corruptible things versus the incorruptible things so the lord says time to wake out of that slumber stop prioritizing the corruptible things and prioritize the incorruptible things because our salvation is there than we believe and this is what we here talking about salvation and destruction because the most high deals with duality if somebody's being saved that means somebody's being left behind That's right. if somebody's being left behind that means somebody's being saved on the other side of that coin if somebody's being saved, that means somebody else is being destroyed. So we out here to tell people salvation is nearer than we believe, but on the other side of that, destruction is nearer than when we believe. Go ahead. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. The night is far spent. The night symbolizes slavery. The night symbolizes the oppression that our people has gone through. And the day represents that new day, right? The sun arising, meaning a new day. And who is that sun? Yahweh Shah, who the world eagerly called Jesus the Christ. He's that new day. He's the day dawn, the day rising, right? He's that morning star. All right? Go ahead. He says, let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us cast off the works of darkness. What are the works of darkness? Everything that America upholds. Everything America says you have the freedom to do. The Bible speaks contrary about the freedoms that America says you can do. The Bible says there's things that you cannot do. There's things that's not acceptable. But America says everything's acceptable. Everything is okay. You can love who you want to love. You can worship who you want to worship. But that's contrary to what's written in the Bible. The Bible doesn't say it's okay to love who you want to love. 
and you can worship what you want to worship. Don't you know, don't you think the person that created everything knows what's right and what's wrong? What's good for mankind? But mankind is going to tell God what's good for mankind. That's backwards. God tells you what's good for mankind. You don't tell God what's good for mankind. God created you. Go ahead. Right, that's why it said, uh, let every man be a liar, right? It said, uh, you're not supposed to trust a man, you know, when it comes to anything, all right? And that's what you see in this society, you know? The scripture mission it said, woe unto them that call good evil and evil good. Everything is backwards, thanks to the so-called white man. He saw Edom, man. All right, here it is. He'll, he'll tell you that you know um, you, can, you, can, you can have two genders, get married, marry, given rights, and then after that, you know, be able to adopt children, man. What you think is going? To, what you think they're going to do? All right, they're going to promote and they're going to uh, put all them them devious ideas that they have already, the, the demons that's already on them. They're going they're going to uh, uh, try to you know. Uh, uh, Get them to go the same way, all right? That's why you see a lot of them, they, they, they go and uh, try to uh, fucking try to get Jake, try to adopt Jake and shit, Jake children, a lot of these Edomites, man, you know? I just typed in Google, how many total genders are there? Besides male and female, there are 72 other genders. Oh my God. <laughs> This is the madness that we're talking about. 72 other genders, and y'all have to accept that. Y'all have to be okay with that. 72 other genders. And then your kids gotta accept it. Right? Because you have to be inclusive. You have to be understanding to other people's plights and problems. 72 other genders. And y'all okay with that? God said he made man and woman, but you said there's 72 other genders, and you have to accept that. Continue. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's the works of darkness that you got to cast off. That's the things of the world that you have to cast off, and that's what your science teaches. Your science, the same science you claim denounces the Bible, your science says there's 72 other genders. Yeah. <laughs> um, second, second Peter 3 and 11. See it then, that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Read that again, Salah. Second Peter 3 and 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. Seeing then that all these things, all the works that goes on in America is going to be dissolved. Your 72 genders are going to be dissolved. Your 72 different identities are going to be dissolved, man. And you have to accept that because that's the American way. You got to be all inclusive. You're no longer man and woman. You're cis man and cis woman. And you have to accept that. But those are the works that's going to be dissolved here in America, man. Go ahead. Sorry. All right. Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High. We're looking for that hastening the day of the coming of our Lord. For that very reason, man. Because the longer we live here, the more wicked and foul this place is going to become. Right? The longer we stay in America, the more just foul and wicked and perverse and corrupt it's going to get, man. Once again, you're no longer man and woman. You have to be a cis man and a cis woman. 
And if you do not call yourself a cis man and a cis woman, you are offending a whole community of people. They just got rid of the U-turn sign. Because the U-turn sign is offensive to that community. Oh, man. They're literally taking down the U-turn sign in L.A. because it was so called a symbol that spoke against them. And guess what? You're doing it. Because that's the American way. Folly is setting great dignity, man. All this shit is foolishness in the sight of the Heavenly Father and the Son. This is what you're fighting for. This is what you're arguing for. And you're wondering why the Most High is going to destroy this place. Yeah, no. Looking for, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the, of the Lord, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Yeah, the elements is going to be melted with fervent heat. That is the solution. And Barakatah Yahweh Yahushah for that solution. Call the second death. Because before the first death is when the Heavenly Father flooded the planet Earth. Because of all the foul shit that was going on before during the time of Noah. And now the Lord's going to destroy this place by fire for the foul and wicked and sinful things that goes on in America. This is uh, the book of Revelation, chapter 17, verse 2. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Yeah, the kings of the earth are the other nations. And you are fornicating with this harlot known as America, known as Mystery Babylon the Great. You've been in bed with this slut known as America, man. And now you're drunk off the wine of her philosophy. And that wine is dealing with the belief systems, the wicked belief systems that America pushes on the rest of the world, which is that L's and the G's and the T's to the B's and all the other letters that fell fall in that goddamn wicked ass category, man. You push that philosophy on the other nations, man. Yeah. Alphabet soup group. Yeah, I like that, alphabet soup group. This is Psalms chapter two, verse one. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Why do the heathen rage, right? And the people imagine a vain thing. What is that vain thing? That they're gonna be the next in power. What is that vain thing? That Israel is gonna be in slavery forever. We just gonna be ignorant niggas and ignorant hoes for the rest of our lives. Those are the vain things that you imagine, man. You gonna continually capitalize off of the pain and trauma of blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Your house is going to continue forever. You, these are the vain things that you imagine. Go ahead. So the kings of the earth set themselves so and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. Yeah, let us break their bands asunder and cast their cords away from us. They want to destroy us as a people. They don't want us to come together. They don't want us to be united. They want us to be broken. And Jake is broken. Our people are broken, man. Look how you live. You were supposed to be a royal priesthood, a nation of kings and priests. But you will become a degenerate plant before the Most High. You will become the scum of the earth. You are supposed to be a royal people, but you are more like shitty people now. You ain't worth shit. You have no value, no substance. All you care for is vanity. All you care for is selfishness. All you care for is wickedness. 
You don't care about God. You don't care about the Son of God. You don't care about the words of God. God. This is all uh, back in the book of Psalms, chapter 2, verse 4. It says, He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh, the Lord shall have them in derision. The Lord is going to have them in derision. Right? The nations that think they're going to rule, right? The nations that think they're going to win World War III, he's going to have them in derision, man. Because those nations are going to be destroyed as well. Everybody's going to lose in World War III. And only the elect of the House of Israel is going to win. All right? Go ahead. Says, yeah, okay. This is, as you said, that they, that they, about their houses and, yeah. they, and they think they're going to remain in, in power. Okay. Um, this is Job 5 and 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty. He disappointed the devices of the crafty. All the things Esau and Edom think they're going to do to stay in power to maintain their grip on the planet Earth, he's going to disappoint you, man. Right? Got it? So I gotta keep moving the screen so it doesn't yeah. close. Job 5 and 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. That their hands cannot perform their enterprise. What is that? The New World Order. All right, because you have the rich top banking families, the top bloodlines on the planet Earth that's trying to perform the global domination by putting radio frequency identification chips inside of you. They're trying to fuse you with technology. They're trying to put an all in all the people to show that you are servants. You are sheeple. But the Lord is going to disappoint their enterprise. Go ahead. You take up the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the froward is carried headlong. Yeah, the counsel of the froward is carried headlong, man. Because the Lord, they really think, you know, they're orchestrating World War III, they're orchestrating the people to be chipped, but the Lord got them in the trick bag. That's for your destruction. They thinking, yeah, everything is going according to plan, right? But that's for your destruction. Yeah. Yeah. They meet with darkness in the daytime. They meet with darkness in the daytime and grow in the noonday as in the night. Yeah. Okay? But he saveth the poor from the sword, from their mouth, and from the hand of the mighty. This is back in the book of Ephesians, chapter 5. I'm going to start at verse 17. It says, Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. So be not unwise, right? But understand what the will of the Lord is. And the will of the Lord is to destroy America. The will of the Lord is to destroy the house of Esau and Edom, which is the Caucasian race. The will of the Lord is to let people get chipped. Let people get sick to death. Let people starve to death. Let people be annihilated this up and coming third world's war. That's, right. that's the will of the Lord. Because that's the Lord's judgment and wrath. Right. And save one third of his people. That's also the will of the Lord. To protect one third of his people. To protect 144,000 men. Which is the government body. That's the will of the Lord too. While people are starving to death. The elect is going to be eaten. While people are getting sick to death, the men of the Lord is going to be healthy. And they're going to be healing people. 
They're going to be bringing people back from the dead. Miraculous things are going to happen in these last days. Yeah. He reads on, it says, And be not drunk with wine, wherein it's excess, excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Yeah, don't be drunk with wine. Right? Shalom, man. Yeah, I'm all right, don't be drunk with wine, but understand what the will of the Lord is, right? And what is the will of the Lord? I mean, what is the drunk with wine? You drunk off the philosophies of this world. You drunk off the ways of this world, the mannerisms of this world, right? And what is the mannerisms of this world? Do as thou wilt. Do whatever feels good. The pursuit of happiness. The American dream. That's the drunkenness that the scriptures is talking about. You got a shot. Right. Okay. Uh, right. uh, right. So you're not supposed to be drunk off of those things. Get first that's the one and one, you start from the top. First Thessalonians hey. 5 First Thessalonians 5 and 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, we have no need that I write unto you. The times and the seasons, brethren, there's no need that I write unto you. Why is that? Uh, all right. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Because you perfectly know that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. You ain't gonna need somebody to tell you this is the day of the Lord happening because you're gonna know from studying. You're gonna know from listening to the lessons. You're gonna know from coming out to the highways and byways. You're gonna know what the day of the Lord looks like. And what is the day of the Lord looks like? Darkness. Gloominess, right? Death, lamentation, weeping, woe. That's what the day of the Lord looks like. Famine, pestilence, earthquakes, civil unrest. That's what the day of the Lord looks like. Wars and rumors of wars. Signs in heaven. That's what the day of the Lord looks like. But these people don't know. They're not looking for the day of the Lord. They're not looking for the signs of the times. No, no, no. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. When the world says peace and safety, that's when destruction and death comes to your way. When you think everything is all good, you think that you're safe, that you're comfortable, that's when the wrath of the Lord is going to come. When you least expect it. Give me a um, survival. And they shall not escape. Yeah, they're not going to, um, they're not going to escape when they say peace and safety. All right? Yo, we, we, um, we got, we got the, we got the, we got the, we got the monetary system stable. We are no longer at war with the other countries. We 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 um we settled our differences, man. <laughs> We're gonna be rocked to sleep by the Lord. Yeah. Oh me, uh, us in North Korea is at peace. Or yeah. North Korea and South Korea is no longer beefing. Yeah. Right? We got the peace treaty. They said it's true. Got it. Got it, my God. This is uh the book of Surah, chapter five, verse seven. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. What does tarrying mean? To put off, to procrastinate. Don't procrastinate coming to serve the Lord. The time is now, right? You thinking, oh, let me just finish my college course, or let me just get out of school. Let me just, you know, let me just finish this job. Or oh, wait till I get healthier. Nah, the time, the time is now. Don't wait to finish school. Don't wait till your parents die. Don't. The time is now. 
It's time to serve the Lord now. Yeah. Reads on and says, and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. Yeah, in thy security you're going to be destroyed. All right? And what is this security? Let's look that up. All right? Read that again, my dollar. It says, For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. It says security, the state of being free from danger or threat, a thing deposited or placed. What is the full meaning of security? State of being or feeling secure, freedom from fear, anxiety, danger, doubt, the state or sense of safety or certainty. Sidebar. Underground bunkers in the U.S. Mount Weather. S4, Area 51, all them underground bunkers they got, the fallout shelters. That's where they're going to die. Pretty much, that's their grave. That's their they grave. They just dug. No underground bunkers, that's your unresting place. So you want to run to these places thinking that you're safe or that you can hide from the day of the Lord. But little do you know, there's no running and hiding from the Lord. There's, there's no place you can run. There's no island. There's no country, no continent you could run from the judgment of the Lord. Ask the blacks and the Latinos and Native Americans that are scattered abroad. Ask the Israelites that are scattered abroad. Are they still under the curses? And they're going to tell you, hell yeah. Because wherever we at on the planet Earth, the curses follow us. Right? Can't escape the curses. So guess what? That same rule applies to the judgment of the Lord. Wherever you at, the judgment of the Lord is going to come for you. Wherever you think you're safe, wherever you are free from fear and anxiety, the judgment of the Lord will come for you. How was that? Okay. This is Amos chapter 9, verse 2. Though they dig in the hell, yes. then shall my hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, then will I bring them down. Like the brother just said, all your bunkers, all your bomb out shelters, Right? All your space stations, all your houses in heavens, that's not going to protect you from the day of the Lord. Man. That's not going to protect you from the wrath of the Lord. You have chariots, chariots that can be invisible and appear in a blink of an eye. They can move in any direction, horizontal, vertically, in a blink of an eye. You have spirits that created for vengeance. So there's no hiding from the Lord, man. This is, yeah, this is Amos chapter 5, verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end it is for you? Yeah, all you God believers. All you Christians. You Roman Catholics. You Seven Day Adventists. You Methodists, Baptists, Jehovah Witness. Jews, what is the day of the Lord to you, right? You believe in God, right? You believe it's the Son of God, right? Or you don't believe in God, right? What do you think your future holds, right? What do you think God is going to do to you? What have you done for God? That's the first question. What have you done for God? Second question. If you did anything for God or did nothing for God, what do you expect God to do for you? You think God is going to protect you? You think God is going to help you? You think God is going to save you? You'll see. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. And that's why... There's going to be a rude awakening. Everybody that think they know God, you're going to see who the God of Israel truly is. Oh, <coughs> smoke. You remember the movie The Fog? Yeah. And you remember the, the, the chick started like prophesying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The God of Israel, the God of Israel is coming. 
Hey, that's how it's gonna be. It's gonna be like the fog. It's gonna be an unknown terror. You're gonna have this feeling of death looming over you. And you can't do nothing about it. And that's what the majority of you people are gonna face until you meet your maker. You're gonna have this feeling of I'm about to die or something's trying to kill me. And you can't do nothing about it, man. And that's the terror of the Lord. That's right. Right? That's the terror of the Lord that we're talking about. Straight terror is coming to America. Man, I Verse 19, as if a bear, I mean, it's like, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and the serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? So, from one situation to another, it shows you you are not going to escape the judgment of the Lord. You're going to go from one hell to the next, but the Lord is always going to win. The Lord is undisputed. He is the undisputed heavyweight champion of the galaxy. He is, he is affinity in O. You know how Jake be like 3 and O? You got zipped, you got 3 O. The Heavenly Father is infinity in O. He never loses. So, it said like a bear, you fled from a bear. Got away from the bed, you ran in the house, put your hand on the wall, get a snake bitch. So it's gonna be one judgment after another until you go back to the spiritual world. That's the life that's coming to America, man. That's the that's the new way of living that's coming to America until America's destroyed. You're gonna be in a constant state of fear, constant state of terror, constant state of worry. You think you're suffering from depression and anxiety now. Wait till the wrath of the Lord comes, man. You think you're borderline suicidal now. Wait till the wrath of the Lord comes. Get up. Uh, all right, I got some. First Thessalonians 5 and 4. But ye brethren are not in darkness that that day shall overtake you as a thief. Yeah. Ye brethren, showing you, that's, it's like a, a coded text, a coded message. This is only for the elect. Ye elect ones are not in darkness, right? When Paul wrote these messages, these epistles, out to the different churches, that's who it was for. It was for those seven churches. It was for the Israelites. It wasn't for the whole world. If you call it your cousin, but you call your uncle, you talk to your family. That phone call isn't for the whole world, right? It was a personal. It was personal. Personal letters. Intimate letters. Intimate. Right? That wasn't meant for everybody. So ye brethren are not in darkness. And what's that darkness? Not knowing what time you're living in. Okay? Ye are all the children of light. Ye are all the children of light. You are Yasha Allah. He is a prince of God. He, she is a princess of God, man. You are Yasha Allah. No, no. You are the sons and daughters of God. Okay. All right. We are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. We are not of the night nor of darkness. And you see the majority of our people. You hear how they think. I mean, you see and hear how they think. You see and think how they you hear how they talk. They sleep. Look how they live. Right? They don't care about the Lord at all. God is not at all in their thoughts. Right? At zero percent, man. There's no fear of the Lord in our people, man. That's the works of darkness. That's the darkness that the scriptures is talking about. Read that part again. Yep. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. We are not of the night nor of darkness, man. Right? What is the darkness? This world. And everything that's upheld in this world. Right? 
Therefore let us not Therefore let us not sleep as do others. Therefore let us not sleep as do others. Right? Don't sleep like the rest of these people are sleeping. These the rest of these people are unaware what time period we're living in. The rest of these people don't care what time we're living in. They don't care that the Lord is coming back. They don't care that judgment and destruction is about to happen. They don't care that they don't even care for their souls. Go ahead. But let us watch and be sober. Let us watch and be sober. Right? What that means? What are we watching for? The signs of the time. We are watching for the second coming of our Lord and Savior. Right? And let us be sober. What does it mean to be sober? Clear-minded. <coughs> it's the opposite of being drunk and being intoxicated. The Lord told us, don't be intoxicated with the things of this world. There's many things in this world that can get you drunk. Not just liquor and alcohol. Pussy. Right? Money. Lust. A nice car. A nice house. A good paying job. Your family. There's tons of things that can get you intoxicated. But the Lord told us to be sober. This world is drunk off of the things of this world. We are not to be drunk. We are to be sober, clear-minded. Right? Read that again. Yeah, that's why. All right. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. That's why, that's why you're a hair person say, yo, I'm addicted to money. I'm addicted to this. You get me? It's, it's, it, it'll be a, it'll give you a high, a rush. It's a, it's a drug. A person that's constantly so called winning in this world, they high up for that. Some of them be so, they high up for so much that they don't use alcohol or whatever. They got that rush and they, they intoxicated off for this world. Right. Pain. Yeah, the, the money. Yeah. I got when you look up the word sober in the Greek, it's nepho, right? It says to be sober, to be calm and collected in the spirit, to be temperate, right? And we know when you look up the word temperate, it means self control or moderation. It says, yep, showing moderation or self restraint. This world doesn't teach you self-restraint. This world teaches you do as thou will. Whatever feels good, do it. Indulge. Indulge. Binge. Right? You binge TV shows. You binge alcohol. You binge food. Are you telling me that this world right here is Satan's world? Yes, sir. Why? Why? <laughs> Look around you. Why not? Why not? They told me a holiday is tomorrow. You got eyes to see, right? Yeah. Do you think this is a righteous place? No. Right. Then why God gave this world for what? what do you to destroy. To destroy. You get that I moment. Got you. Which I got you. Oh, get more time. Proverbs. Oh, get Proverbs too. This is good. This is Proverbs chapter 16, verse 4. The Lord hath made all things for himself. Yea. Even the wicked for the day of evil. So why did God create America? For the day of evil. He gave us an example to show us what evil is. Now you know what evil looks like. Just open your eyes and look around. Look, 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 look. Finish chewing your food and speak. Brother. I got Romans. Yeah. This is Romans chapter 8. Every, this whole presenta this presentation known as America, this movie that we're living in is to show us what wickedness looks like. What sin looks like. People that live in sin. This is what America is for. Uh -huh. This is Romans chapter 8. We started at verse 19. For the earnest expectation of the preacher waited for the manifestation of the Son of God 
For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who has subjected the same in hope. Break it down. You know, because the fact is that the Lord, he created all of, all of us as his creatures, right? So the Lord can do whatever he wants. This is his movie. He created good and evil on the planet. Just for us, the Israelites, to know how it is to, to, to know wickedness on this side. So when we're in the kingdom, we're going to be the ultimate judge, the ultimate gods on the earth. But we're going to know both good and evil. So these are the reasons why the Lord created evil on the earth. Right? And it says, um, it says, uh, verse 21. Verse 20, it says, For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who have subjected the same in hope. So wow. it, it, it wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It, it, at the end of the day, you know, the Lord is the one that, he's the one that's in control, man. All right? All right? He, he, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, it's a, how you say it? Like it's a, um, it's a madness to the method. Yeah. <laughs> method to his madness. Yeah, it's a method to his madness that when he does things, he does it in righteousness for us to, to know, all right? Listen, America is going to be a, 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 a memorial site for the Israelites to remember, like, listen, this is how it was to be, to live wickedly, all right? America's going to be that, 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 you know, it's going to be basically judged for its wickedness. And then we're going to know that we're never going to commit sins upon the earth ever again because the Lord's going to have us. But we're going to be totally righteous anyway. But we all, all going to see that America is going to be that, you know, that, that great uh, uh, desert site that for, the, for us to remember, you know, how wickedness was in the earth, all right? Yeah, uh, all right. Yeah, um, second Peter 2 and 6. Oh, God bless you. Peace, brother. This is Romans 9 and 15. Romans 9 and 15. For he, for he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then, it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the Most High that showeth mercy. It's the most high's choice. Yeah. Like the brother was saying, it's a method to his madness. He's an author. He's a creator. And an author, a creator can do and create however they see fit. <laughs> whatever they want to do. Right? Remember, the potter has power over the clay. So, the potter, which is the most high, has power over the clay, which is mankind. And he just gave us a glimpse. We looked through a glass darkly. And the Lord only revealed a certain amount of things. He gave us a glimpse, right? To understand his will and his way. He gave us enough to what we need to get saved. Outside of that, don't seek out, the scriptures say, seek out not things that are too hard for you. Let me get that real, real fast. Yeah. This is uh, Romans chapter 11, it's at verse 33. Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom yes. and knowledge of the Most High. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. Yeah, his ways are past finding out for mankind, for mortals, right? Mortals always think they can comprehend a God, a deity, a power beyond mortal comprehension you can't even that's why the most I said it to Job and Ezra you can't even comprehend the earthly thing how you want to understand the heavenly things you can't even count the hairs on your head but you think you can understand the things that go on in the heavens or the unseen world or the other dimensions that for who have known the mind of the Lord or oh, who have been his counselor? Who has been the counselor of the Lord? Who is the one to tell the Most High no, yay, or nay? <laughs> Nobody. Oh, Most High, yeah, that's a good idea. The Most High is the author. He is the creator. He is the potter. Right? And he fashions the clay however he wants. So why did the Most High create America? He created America to be an example of how not to live. He created America to show you what sin 
is, what living in sin is, because that's what America promotes, sin. It promotes evil, wickedness. It doesn't promote godliness and righteousness. It doesn't show you how to build a relationship with God, how to fear the Lord. It teaches you that everything of the, the opposite of that. It tells you how to despise the Lord. It shows you how to go away from the Lord. That's what America teaches you. Once again, we read it earlier. There's over 72 genders. America says there's over 72 genders. God said he created man and woman. America says there are 72 genders. And guess what? You have to accept it. That's America for you. It's okay to be gay. It's okay to love who you want to love. It's okay to worship what you want to worship. They're saying that they basically saying the most high don't have understanding. Yeah, but then, you know, when your little daughter goes into the restroom and then you got a motherfucker with a, a, man with with a, a beard five, with a five, five o'clock shadow and a wig, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and a wig and a dress on, and he goes in there right after, you know. You got to be okay don't, with don't, that. Don't, don't fucking complain about it. Nigga. You got to be okay with that. Good. You got to be okay with a man with a beard and a wig on teaching your children what's right from wrong. You got to accept 72 judges. But anyway, Sirach chapter 2, verse 20. Uh, oh, Sirach 3. Sirach what? Sirach 3. Yeah, and 22. 23. You got you to be okay with that. That's how I'm saying 3 and 9. Huh? You guys gonna sing? sing? We are singing. Oh yeah, yeah. This is the word. Yeah. We're singing the word. Singing. It's a new song. I agree with it. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's good. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, man. Like, right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is a uh, Sirach chapter three, verse twenty-three. Yep. Be not curious in unnecessary matters. For more things are shown unto thee than men understand. Yeah, more things are shown unto thee than men understand. There's so much in these, the compilation of books right here, man, and the Bible and the Apocrypha. There's so much history. Past, present, and future is written in this book. Right? And you still worrying about <laughs> the stars or the galaxy. The, 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 what about the, the flapjack docks and the flat earth? The flat earth is the earth flat? Yeah. There ain't no real satellites. It's a big curtain. It's Project Blue Beam in the heavens. The moon ain't real. The moon ain't real. Yo, man, you, look, you, you get lost, man. Oh, you know, why was America created? Listen, man, that's not what you should be focused on. So, guys. Yep. <laughs> this is uh, back in the book of Sirach, chapter 3, verse 24. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion. And that's what the majority, the majority of the people that come up here, they're deceived by their own vain opinion. They're already indoctrinated, and you're not brainwashed, you're brain, you're brain dirty or brain filthy, right? With the ways of this world. You already have a conception in a, in a doctrine already in your mind. So when you come up here and you and you getting washed up, it's starting to hurt you. It's not, it's not making sense. Like, I never heard this before. What is this strange thing that y'all saying, right? But you are deceived by your vain things, yeah? It says, and an evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Without eyes, thou shalt want light. Profess not the knowledge, therefore, that thou hast not. Without eyes, you want eyes. You want to see. You know, imagine if you didn't have eyes. You couldn't see shit. You'll be begging to see everything, right? 
so I can read that again without eyes. It says, without eyes, thou shalt want light. Profess not the knowledge, therefore, that thou hast not. Profess not the knowledge you have not. So if you don't understand, or if you can't explain it, don't teach it. You understand? If you can't break it down or eloquently teach it, keep your hand on your mouth. Don't say nothing until you are able to teach it yourself. Right? You, you get zeal and you want to teach everything or you want to explain everything, but you can't because you still need to grow. You still need to learn. You still need to unlearn everything you was taught and relearn everything that's written in the scriptures. You understand? There's one more verse, huh? One more verse? Yep. All right. It says, A stubborn heart shall fear evil at the last, and he that loveth danger shall perish therein. He that loveth danger shall perish therein. Because we're not supposed to be caught up into a lot of we ain't supposed to be getting into a lot of fights, brawls. We ain't supposed to be getting locked up. You know? We are children of the light, as we read earlier. So we gotta walk with wisdom. This thing ain't, yeah, the white man is the devil. And two thirds will be destroyed. But we can't act like the devil and we can't live like two thirds. We're not brutish. We're, we're spiritual warriors. Even not the, the weapons of our warfare are not calling them. Right. So you're battling spirits. Even though somebody's physically in front of you, these are demons on people. Unclean spirits on people that we deal with on a daily basis. So those are things that you got to keep in mind. I ain't dealing with a nigga right now. I'm dealing with a demon. You know? So you got to walk according to how your side walk. How do your side deal with demons? I wish I wasn't fucking everybody up. So you can't be fucking everybody up just because you mad. You know? So the scriptures say, and he that love of danger shall perish therein. He that live by the sword is going to die by the sword. Man, I... So, no, go back. Okay, Romans 9. I got it. All right, this is Romans 9. Because now we, we covering the acts why was America created? We're going to get into it. Yeah. Romans 9 and 17. For the scriptures saith unto Pharaoh, even for the same time, even for the same purpose, have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. So just like Pharaoh during the time of Moses was raised up, or even before Moses, during the time of Joseph. Right, right. That's how Egypt became a superpower or became an empire because of, of an Israelite, all right? The father of Ephraim of Manasseh, Joseph, the Most High gave him visions of seven years of plenty and seven years of famine. So when that happened, Egypt became the power of the planet Earth because they survived the famine. Everywhere else got hit by famine, Egypt, survived the family because they had seven years of plenty. So when Egypt was a superpower, they thought they was big bad Egypt now. It was rulers. Nobody could fuck with Egypt. But what did the most high say? Yo, he was like, oh, hold on. <laughs> you ain't you ain't big and bad. You think you big and bad, but you're not big and bad. I'ma show you who's big and bad. Yeah. Therefore I have been mercy on whom therefore I have been mercy on whom he will have mercy. Go back up. I'll go back. Romans 9 and 17. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for the same purpose have I raised thee up. Have I raised you up? This is why you became a superpower. So the same rule applies to America. This is why I raised America up. Yeah. That I might show my power in thee. And that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Because at this moment, America is a superpower. You know, despite all the wickedness that goes on in America, all the sin that goes on in America, the unjust laws that go on in America, it's still a top military might. 
weapon wise and military wise, right? Even though this new generation is more effeminate, this is the most effeminate generation that we ever lived in, right? Which is 72 genders. But America is still a superpower on the planet Earth. Why? Because the Most High made them a superpower on the planet Earth. Why? Because they have nuclear power. They have atomic power. They have powers to destroy nations. So that's why America is a superpower. Right? But the Most High said, yo, I made you that superpower to show the world who's the true superpower, which is Yahweh. Yeah. Therefore have he mercy on whom he hath therefore have he mercy on whom he will have mercy and whom he will and whom he will he will harden. He will have mercy upon whom he will have mercy on. He's gonna harden. Read that again. Who he wants to harden. Yeah. Therefore have he mercy on whom he will have mercy and whom he will be hardeneth. This is uh, Colossians chapter 1, verse 16. For by him were all things created that are in heaven, that are in earth, visible and invisible. Yeah, all things was created by the Messiah. Because Yahweh Shah was the first created spirit. And after Yahweh Shah was created, he created everything else. That whether they be whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. Everything was created for Yahweh Shah. Because Yahweh Shah is a king, he's a ruler, he's a power. Right, the scripture says that in Daniel, he uh give it give it the uh even he said he ruled in the kingdom of men and give it into the bases of men. You know, Esau, Edom. So it's the Lord that set up set up these um these kingdoms, these um you know these um you know authorities, authority figures. All right, whether it's you know uh, prime ministers, presidents, so on and so forth, the elites. Is Yahweh Shai that set all this up, man? All right, and it's, he set it up just for these nations, basically to destroy each other, so he can set up his kingdom on the earth. That's all it is, man. Yeah. Every if you read the book of Judges, you see that every nation had a time to rule. And who they ruled over? The Israelites, man. Alright? Now this time around, the Lord, He's gonna set it up where we're gonna rule. Okay? But we're gonna rule forever. It's gonna be a kingdom without an end. A world without end. You know? Alright? So you other nations, even look, the most high is fair. He let you other nations rule, okay, for a certain period of time, all right? But what, you, what's, what the difference is, we're gonna rule it in righteousness, all right? That's the difference, okay? So, when you still call white people, you might as well live it up right now while you can, all right? Because as soon as the Lord comes back, you're going into slavery, man, under the Israelites, all right? All right, this is Daniel. Four and seventeen. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and set him up over it the basis of men. Yeah, most high ruleth over the kingdom of men. And he set up over it whoever he wanted. And this time he set up the basis of men. When you look up the basis of men, it's like a low, low, low life. Foul, piece of shit, garbage. He set that up to rule the planet up. That's why in the kingdom of heaven, everybody going to be like, this is the man that ruled the planet earth, that ruled over nations. This weak, Edomite, piece of shit, garbage. <laughs> this, this trash human being 
this leprous pig. Wow. Okay. Um, the individual that he's talking about is Malachi 1 and 4, whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build desolate places. That's these swords that moment. They think they're going to rebuild whatever's destroyed. Okay. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. They will build, but I'm going to throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. Yeah, they shall be called the border of wickedness. Because they, they double they shall appear. They. Right? Not not the man Esau. They as a people. But what the devil what did you say? I said, speak up the devil and they shall appear. Wow. I just saw a two world bar. <laughs> it was on the slope of facts. It's not only against Esau, because that's what they would say. Yeah, he only hated Esau the man. It says they are the people he will have indignation forever. He's gonna hate them forever. Alright? How did what happened? How did he came back? How did he came back? Genesis 25. The Bible's gonna show you how they became white people. Whoever did it first. This is uh, Genesis 25. Let's start at verse uh, 23. In fact, 21. It says, uh, And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren, and the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebekah, his wife, conceived. And the children struggled together within her. So this is the origin of the people on this side and the Caucasian race. This is our history, right? So it said two babies were struggling in the womb. It was twins, fraternal twins. Wow. And they was fighting each other. Yeah. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? The mother wanted to know why was she had so many complications with her pregnancy. Yeah. And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. Oh. And two men of people shall be separated from thy vows. So it says two nations. This is two different people. Right? This is the origins of the blacks and indigenous people and the origins of the Caucasian race. Those are the two different nations. Go ahead. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. The one people are the people that's on this side shall be stronger than the Caucasian race. Okay? And the elder shall serve the younger. The elder is going to serve the younger in the kingdom to come, in the world to come. Okay? And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. Fraternal twins. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, wow. and they called his name Esau. So you ask the question, how did they become leprous? Or how did they lose their pigment? He came out red. Red. That's what they said? Wow. Who's, who's red on the planet Earth right now? What people who's don't red? have pigment? people are red on the planet Earth? Uh, red, uh, uh, like red. Like when red they skin. get a sunburn, what color do they turn? Uh, there you go. Who doesn't have pigmentation? They don't have melanin. Wow. That fucked me up right there. He came out red. That's in the Bible. Yeah, That's they're not really white. They're red. You see a white man, he look white. You know what color white is, right? They look more red, right? Yeah. Than anything, right? Nobody's really the color white or black. Yeah. Those are social constructs that they put on us. The real color of their skin, they have no melon, they have no, no pigmentation. So their blood shows through their skin. They're translucent. That's why they look red. While our people, we have pigment. We have uh, light pigment to dark pigment. 
likes a melanin, like melanin, and it's frowned upon. Because of the devil putting up his image as being, as being an epitome of beauty. Yep. They made themselves look superior or the image of beauty, but they're not. We are the image of beauty. Wow, and they know all that too. You gotta know that to teach the lie. In order to tell a lie, you must know the truth. Wow. How they can control this so little, how they do it? Bro? That's a guy temporary rule over the earth. Job 924. Get it. Right. Gotta answer with the scriptures. Let the scriptures do the talking. Alright. This is Job. Wow. I got you right here. Well, the Lord got you. Hold on. Yeah, the Lord got you. Yeah, I caught myself, right? I caught myself. We just the messages. Yeah. Job 9 and 24. This answers your question. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So if the Caucasian race is not the wicked, and who is? Process of elimination. Who does the most evil on the planet Earth? Yeah. Process of elimination. Who does the most evil on the planet Earth? Let's take a vote. Who makes the laws? Who, 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 who bars nations? The money currency is under. Who faces on the dollar bill? Right. What, what's the saying? Follow the blood, you'll find money, or follow the money, you'll find money. Yeah. You'll find blood. Yeah. And you got you'll find that blood through the old money. Old money. Yo, Wealth is not lost. Yeah, that's, that's right? Energy is not created or yeah, destroyed. Their time is coming to an end though. The Bible says they're gonna rule for a moment, but then they're coming to an end. And that's what let's get it. Enjoy the hypocrite show. Sure. Let's get um, Esau going down. The Bible said they was going, they was going to rule for a little while, but it's not going to be forever. This is uh, the Book of Job, chapter twenty, starting at verse four. Though it's now not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short. And the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. The triumphant of the wicked is short. Yeah, they rule for over 500 years, but it's coming to an end. And how do you know that it's coming to an end? Just look at the mentality of the people, right? Not only the mentality of the people, you got the prophets of the Lord on the highways and the byways. That's one of the signs that this man is at his end. Wow. God sent his messages to tell the people what's about to happen. That's how you know that this is the end. God's messages are here. Yeah. Telling people what's about to happen. Whether they listen or don't listen. That's not on us. We doing wow. our job. We doing our job. The Lord told us to yo, go out there and tell them what's about to happen on earth. That's on them if they take the message and apply with the Lord told them to do, you know? But the joy of the hypocrite is short. The triumphant of the wicked is but for a moment. Man. Real quick, yeah. Second Edges, chapter six, verse nine. For Esau is the end of the world. Oh, start up, start up. Like seven, seven. Second Edges, six, verse seven. Then answered I and said. Six. Six. Then did I consider these things, yep. and they all were made through me alone. They was made from the Most High alone. Remember, this is his movie. This is his story, right? So the, this was made by the Most High, okay? And through none other, by me also they shall be ended, and by none other. Yeah, so nobody else is going to destroy this place. Yeah. The most high is gonna so, be the one. So he, he said it said that he made them. Right? Yeah. Right. He made them to destroy them. Yeah. Go ahead. Then answered I and said, 
what shall be the parting this asunder of the times? What is going to be the parting of the asunder of the times? Meaning, when is this thing is going to happen? We don't know. You keep talking about this thing happening, this day. When is it going to happen? Go ahead. Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow it? When is going to be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow it? Uh, when, when is it going to be the end of an empire and the raise of a new one? Okay. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him. The most high is giving you the main characters of his story. Yep. You get it? Okay. Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. Jacob's hand held Esau's heel. Remember the twins that was being born? Yeah. So Jacob, which wow. is the father of these people right here, right, held the heel of the father of the Caucasian race. So what he did? Okay. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. Esau, the Caucasian race, is the end of the world. And Jacob, which is our people, is the beginning of the new world to come. And, and that world is going to be nothing but righteousness. It's going to be order. Law and order. Right? It's going to be real love. I ain't talking about Mary J. Right? <laughs> it's going to be real love. Yeah. Well, well, they can have them. Well, they can have them. There you go. Well, let's get that. Proverbs 11 21. I got something. Yeah. 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 And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Satan from heaven? I mean, fall from heaven. I ain't talking about no fable, mythos, cartoon, Marvel, DC bullshit. The angel Lucifer fell from heaven. It's talking about Esau Edom, the Caucasian race, falling from his empire. The rain on the top was short like leprechaun. That's right. Bones. <laughs> Bonds, right? Esau is gonna fall, man. Quick, fast, lightning fast. It took over 500 years to build this kingdom. Most of gonna destroy it in less an hour. He said, in that hour, Great Babylon the Great was destroyed. Bible says, get that after this. Right, right. Peace. This is Revelation chapter 18. In verse 17, it says, For in one hour, so great riches is come to naught. In one hour. It took over 500 years to build America. And the Lord is going to destroy it in an hour. Okay. And every shipmaster and all the company of ships and sailors, and as many as trade by sea, stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, what city is like unto this great city? America. And they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing. Yeah, they, they cast dust on their head. They confused. No one's going to buy their goods. Like in the bulk how America has, man. America was a, um, was a clientele. They had their product. They bought everything from America. Even narcotics. Saying, alas, alas, that no, I mean, I mean, they sold everything to America. It's a lot. Right. Forgive me. They sold everything to America. Because America's a um, consumer nation, right? America don't produce like it and once did. So, yo, they're going to be left with their supply, yo. They're going to be just left there with supply. And you know how how economics run. Everything got to move real fast. So they just stayed left. So these nations are going to um, become poor overnight. 
says, Alas, alas, that great city where were made rich all that had ships in the sea. Yeah, because you could you could come you could come to America. <laughs> they could come to America, do business with America, and blow up overnight and be rich. So all these nations and everyone else doing business with this place, all that their business is stopped. Because America was um, buying what? 98% of their um, their products. It said, women were made rich. All that had ships in the sea. They was, made, they was made rich. Look at all these cargo ships that's going in and out. When you go, when you go to the um, to these harbors or ports, the beach or whatever, you see the ships constantly going in and out. Got traffic. It says, made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness, uh -huh. for in one hour is she made desolate. In one hour. And how, the, how this part of America gonna be made desolate in one hour? Through thermonuclear destruction. That's what could make a country desolate in one hour. It's a nuclear fire. Personally, you use a process of elimination. What could make a continent desolate in one hour? Thermonuclear missiles, right? This is uh, the book of Zechariah. Matter of fact, the book of Joel, chapter 2, and verse 3. Yeah, okay, let me start at once. It says, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. We sound in the trumpet, the scriptures, man. The prophets are the voice of the Lord. It says, A sound an alarm in my holy mountain. The holy let, mountain is Zion. It says, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. Yeah, everybody should tremble. Because we are, we, y'all about to, America is going in a nuclear war soon. That's right. These countries are going in a nuclear war. But America's not going to um, stand, man. They will not triumph. The land of Israel will not triumph. Yeah, that's why you got all the they are making it mandatory right now. You know, they uh, got the selective service draft yeah. for uh, men and women, you know, to uh, sign up for this draft, right? And we've been telling you through the spirit that that was going to happen, you know? A lot of you, a lot of you women, it. a lot of you, it's like, I don't get it, you got it. Yeah, no, a lot of you women, you know, you want equal rights. Well, there you go, all right? You're going to be on the forefront. Yo, I, I don't get it. Why are these smart people, they don't come on TV and let y'all know that this country about to be plummeted with nuclear missiles? Yeah. Why don't all these smart people don't go on TV and let you know that this country is about to get nuked? What's going on? Are they high as hell from y'all? Right. It says, um, it says, um, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Yeah, the day of the Lord is at hand. The day of the Lord is, is right at hand, man. All right? It says a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds. Dark, darkness, gloominess, no knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, no answers, and also the sun going to be blotted out by the nuclear missiles, the mushroom clouds. It says, they have felt in a big and the chariots, the chi the ships. That's what the world calls spaceships. The Lord and the angels are gonna be on on them. Well, the Lord is gonna be on the main one. The angels are gonna be in the other ships. All right? Yeah, it's gonna happen. That's why your um your leaders are building and putting that junk out of space. It says, as the morning spread upon the mountains. A great people and the strong, they have not been ever the light. That's right, man. This this war, going this war, this third world's war, man. The Lord gonna intervene and knock all of the, all, all these rulers out of power, man. He gonna tear he gonna tear down their military first to, to show the world. Then he gonna snatch those thirteen families out of those hiding places and throw shackles on them. Right. So neither shall be any more. After it. Yeah, there's not gonna be any any more wars or any destruction that's gonna outdo this destruction, man. Even to the years of many generations. Even the years of many generations. Alright? 
Oh, so I don't know why that, that these leaders don't go on TV and let you know that America about to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. That's the news right there. That's some truth for your ass. Right. It says, a fire devoured before them and behind them a flame burning. That's right. So that, that's showing that, that nuclear wind, man, irradiating and incinerating everything. And it's past. The land is as the garden of Eden before them. So the land is as the garden of Eden, vegetation, everything is all nice and everything. It's showing, it's describing that wind coming through and it's burning everything. Decent. Uh huh. It says, and behind them, a desolate wilderness. And behind them, a desolate wilderness. So that the, when the when bombs detonate, that nuclear wind just spreads and just flames everything, it just incinerates, it turns everything in a, um, under the same degree. What is a hydrodynamic front? I always mis mispronounce it. But it burns all the elements heat up at the same degree. It says, yea, and nothing shall escape them. Yeah, nothing gonna escape this destruction. The elect is gonna be beamed up in an instant. Everything here is left for few. It says, the appearance of them is as the appearance of horses. The appearance of them is the appearance of horses. Horse represents power and speed. So that, that's, that's talking about missiles. Nuclear warheads. And as horsemen, so shall they run. And as horsemen, what up, Alex? As horsemen, so shall they run. So they're going to be in battle formation, moving quickly, breaking the sound barrier. So you're going to hear, it's going to sound, it's going to be the, that noise when you know that sonic boom, multiple of them, like 200 million of them, you're going to keep hearing them rapping. You know what I mean? Just going to hear that making the earth real to and fro also, man. This is Isaiah chapter 24. Just a noise, just a noise alone. It's scary. Verse uh, 19, let's start at 19. It says, the earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. Yes, yeah, it's clean dissolved, man. Those nuclear weapons are gonna cleanse the earth also. And it's going to, that earth here, America going to be turned into a desert. It's going to be burnt up. And after that burning is done, it's going to be a desert here. It says, the earth is moved exceedingly. It's moved. So the earth's going to be moved out of its axis. Time is going to slow up also, man. That's right. It's going to be a new earth, rejuvenated earth. It says the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunk. What's going to make the earth reel to and fro like a drunk in shape? The mom intercontinental ballistic missile. It shall be removed like a cottage. Like a cottage is removed. That's how the earth is going to be. And the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again. Yeah, so the rulership of this world is gonna fall and gonna rise again. America will not rise again. No man is gonna dwell here again after this place is destroyed. Only desert creatures and spirits gonna be here, man. That's it. Home for the demons, man. They running loose right now. But pretty soon they're gonna be bound here, man. So man, America, America is out of here. Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. Pray is these people. That great, that great, oh, this is America's an altar. So we waiting on the Lord. We are not taking vengeance in our own hand. We wait until the Lord gives us the, the okay, the green light. And we'll know to spread when that time is. Right now, we're just delivering a message and doing what we're told. Chain of command, we're following our order. The Lord set up our leaders, all right, our apostles, our bishops, our elders, the rank and formation. Spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh we're just doing what we're commanded to do until that time comes. And enduring, Lord, Lord. Right. Therefore, wait ye upon me, 
Say it the Lord. So we not out here carnal, being carnal, man. We taking we taking a low on on a, on a daily basis. Alright? We come and doing this work, this is further putting curses on this place. You can't even come out low on a Saturday doing the work, it's putting curses on this place. Why is doing the work? Why is setting up our prayers? Why is grinding on our teeth not doing that? The Lord put curses on this place. You know what I mean? So yeah, pretty soon when he returns, game time. Amen. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the praise. The Lord rise, rise up to the praise, man. Because this is a this is a whole, this is a Lord's routine, man. This is the most high's plan. Alright? We can't take down Esau, the most the most high sending his son, Jehovah Shah, along with the angels to take down this place. The Lord gonna give certain men spiritual power and, and the angels are gonna protect the elect. The elect that don't have it, the spiritual power, man. All right? I gotta say, oh, it's more, more it. it says until the day that I rise up to the prey, for my determination is to gather the nations. So it's the Lord's determination because the Lord ruled for the kingdom of men. So it's the Lord's determination to gather the nations. For what? This third world's war. That's why the Lord is gathering the nations. And he, he sets the instruction of what they're going to do in their mind, in their spirit. It says, it's to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms. To to pour upon them my indignation, righteous anger. So the Lord gonna pour upon them to how? The Lord gonna incinerate them in mid air, man. Their armies, their air force, their space force, all that junk gonna be crisp, man. That shit gonna be burnt up. He gonna, he gonna kill them all at the same time, yo. Land and air, their land, air and sea defenses. All that shit gonna get burnt up in an instant. It says to pour upon destruction is like bricks. They're gonna get it in an instant. It says to pour upon them. My indignation. Indignation, our righteous anger. It says, even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Now all that earth, now the whole earth is not going to be destroyed. Let's talk about America, this land mass, man. In the land of Israel. All right? Because the scriptures say the earth will buy them forever, live it forever. Alright? So, was the house of Con one of the house of Con oh, right. So look, America gonna be destroyed by that thermal nuclear fire, man. Ecclesiastes 1 verse 9. It's Ecclesiastes 1 verse 4. One generation passing away, and another generation coming. So you got a generation that passing coming. All right, that 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 that's born and that so-called dies. All right. So that's the Lord's system. So you don't gotta decrease population. The Lord already got that program. Who's gonna die when they die? Who's gonna be born when they be born? No, the most. The, 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 he's always trying to play the, be the most high. Right. One generation past the one of coming, but the earth, but the earth abideth forever. The earth liveth forever. And, and, and the Lord is making that point clear by speeding up the time for the elect's sake. Because the so-called white man is turning the world to shit. He's destroying everything. The sky don't got the colors used to have. You gotta go to different countries to see 
A better sky, man. Come on, man. Water. You gonna turn the water and shit, the land and shit. Man, this man, this man, um, he done been for the like, half a day he been ruling. He just messing up everything, man. Right? Because he got the power to not do all of this. Tesla has clean, Tesla has Tesla have pure energy, man. Tesla have pure energy. All the people that have solutions. Yeah, this will eliminate all Tesla had, I mean all the people that have like free energy and medicine, they get taken out, man. They get killed, man. They get they, they get defamed by the devil. This is uh the book of Habakkuk, chapter three. Let me start at verse one. It says a prayer. Of Habakkuk the prophet upon Shinnah says, O oh Lord, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. O oh Lord. Yeah, so the prophets, the, the men of the Lord, they get a, they get afraid when they hear when they hear this word, man. They get an order. You get a warning, like what can I do to be saved? How can I get an order? What do I have to do? The steps to get an order. O oh Lord. Revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known in wrath. Remember, remember mercy. Remember mercy. So we don't, we say, Lord, well, we set up our prayers, man. So we don't get caught up with the um with the um pray. With the goat. The world is just gonna get slaughtered in this um coming destruction. I'm gonna jump down to verse eight. Was the Lord this pleased against the rivers. <laughs> the prophets that was annoyed was pleased with the rivers. Because a lot of that gonna be evaporated with this nuclear fire, with this concentrated fire that's gonna come out of those ships. Was thy anger against the rivers? Was thy wrath against the sea? Was the wrath against the sea and the rivers? Because that's gonna more majority of ass gonna be gonna be swept up gonna be evaporated. Why? Because the ocean is, the ocean floor is polluted. It's the rivers are polluted. It's gotta get clean. Now you think that's gonna get clean? That thou didst ride upon thy horses and thy chariots of salvation. Uh -huh. So the Lord gonna be standing on the main chariot, man, to give salvation to the one third. All right? But look, all the ups, those, the rivers and waters gotta be clean, man. There has to be a nuclear destruction, man. Hey, they got a, a garbage landfill the size of Texas. Like this garbage, fucking, it's like a land of garbage. Yeah, it's the size of Texas. See? And then they don't buy on the grain, it's just there. You know? The fucking, Plastic that's in the water, you know. There's so much garbage in the ocean that you know you got you got um uh, sea whales. Right? You know they they, they just go ahead and come up on shore and just kill itself. They, they can't take it. They they the 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 these companies they can take the hit. They can take the financial hit. It's nothing for them. To have a little fine or, or whatever, you know. These companies, are, they, they're, 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 they're risk millions of lives. It doesn't matter. They just want to take a little a financial hit. It's nothing to them because they, their volume, they're moving so much money. Perfect example: um, the Purdue, not the chicken, the pharmaceutical company. Oh, yeah. right? All right. They believe in let's say it's fair, man. It's a word like, yo, they believe the government and nothing shall have any say on what they do. It's business. All right? They, they, they take on that ideology, man. Isaiah 24, verse 4. The earth mourneth and 
faded for way. The world languishes and faded for way. Yeah, because of all the pollution, because the so-called white man is running things, man. He's running things. With his uh, fossil fuels and all this, he's just polluting everything, drilling for oil, drilling everywhere. Don't give the earth a break of breather. Chopping out the trees. Chopping out the trees. That's how he just keep plugging those devices in the world. Like a person that has to go to get injections or blood taken from them. They give certain parts of the body a rest. They give certain parts of the body rest. Like in the arm if they if they got a puncture with the needles. Just like your arm or certain body parts need that rest, the earth needs that rest too. You got the land side with it. You're not supposed to keep on digging and planting. You gotta give that part a rest. They constantly drilling and they won't stop. It's non-stop. In the water, in the Arctic areas, it's non-stop. The earth can't get a breather, yo. The earth on it and faded for way. The earth got a spirit on it, man. An aura, a glow. The world languishes and faded for way. The world languishes and faded for way, man. So look, um, and the rulership also, Esau's rulership won't be done. But no, once again, the earth has a spirit. The earth is not an inanimate object, man. In faithful way, the haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. So it's polluted, it's defiled under the inhabitants thereof, the ones that's ruling. All right? Jake still have control over the earth? He saw us. He hasn't, he hasn't control over what goes and what flows and come in and out of a country, right? All right? When a ship come in with those products, certificate and manifest, we want to know what hazardous materials on it. What is this? Well, they got to show a list of all of that. And on the back end, the drugs too, CIA and all of that, they 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 they're in tune of what's going in and going out. Right? All right, because it's still material that's moving, commodities, goods. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. So the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So the wicked is ruling. Who is the wicked? Esau. Who is Esau? You Caucasian. Because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, they they broke change. the everlasting covenant. They, they transgressed the we, we made a, we, we went off, the so-called white man went off. All right, we transgressed the laws, man. Therefore, have the curse devoured the earth. And the curse devoured the earth. What's that curse? Esau, man. And, the, and, and the, um, also the um, the chariots is a curse on the Esau, too. Therefore, have the curse devoured the earth. Yep, and the chariots and chariots are gonna do damage, man, when the Lord returns, all right? And they that dwell therein are desolate. Yeah, desolate. What's gonna make the people desolate? On the, on the land desolate. Thermonuclear fire. Lasers from the Lord. All right, why do you think why they, the government got a space force, man? They know the Lord is about to return. Them um, UFOs are not UFOs, man. They're the chariots of the most high. That's what the angels ride in. That's what the angels ride in. They don't have to, but they do. If you got a vehicle, you don't think the angels have a vehicle? The Lord gave man the, the, the knowledge to build those cars and stuff. And airplanes. So you think the, the angels don't have them? Come on. And, they, and you know they're going to outdo mankind. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burnt. A few men are left. A few men are left. The Lord is only looking for a few good men. Uh, the light. And the Lord doesn't deal with um, a large numbers, he deals with small numbers. 
That's right. Because the small numbers have more value than the large number. That's right. This is Isaiah chapter 14, verse 5. The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. Yeah, they scepter their rulership, man. Their staff, their power, man. The Lord gonna knock all of them, he's gonna knock them down. And he's gonna destroy them. He who smote the people in wrath, so called white man smote the people in wrath, man. He showed his wrath, he showed his wrath harshly by um, building his empire up, man. He was brutal, man. So called white man was brutal in gaining um, power. Because his blessing was the sword. All right? He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. To your stroke. Or some of those, was the AIDS virus and all these viruses, those, weapons, those are weapons he created. Right? He that ruled the nations in anger. So-called white man ruled the nations in anger, man. Wasn't no voting. Wasn't no negotiating. It was straight death. He that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hinder it. The whole earth is at rest. So when the so-called white man is dethroned, the earth is going to be at rest. When the majority of these Edomites are destroyed and the starting with the elites are in shackles, the 13 banking families, the 13, there's 13 of them, the earth is going to be at rest. Right. You're going to hear all these that noise all the time, the sirens. You gotta get up super early for work, try to get a few extra 30 minutes in or whatever. You ain't gonna have to always try to keep rushing, 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 rushing. You know, you can't even, you don't got time to think. The time is gonna be on our, on our side. On our side, man. Definitely. He said, the whole earth is at rest and it's quiet. And yeah, having all the noise of siren, and, 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 and all that nonsense shit rolling. You don't hear that no more, man. You don't hear the gunshots. No gunshots. No <laughs> damn loud ass fireworks. Yeah, yeah. That sound like we that sound like we're in a goddamn Civil War time. <laughs> you ain't gonna hear all that racket, yo. Uh, they don't got no concern for the older people or uh, uh, disabled people. You just hear that shit like you're in a war in a war zone, man. Definitely ain't gonna hear them motherfuckers. You know, like got their noise. Them dirt bikes and them motherfucking ATVs and shit. You know how you got older to where they old, they still alive, and they still got their, like, their, 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 and the seed is a live and the people, the trees are people, man. The trees represent people. Right? So the seed is of Lebanon saying, since thou art laid down, no fella has come up against us. No fella, no, no fella, no fella someone that chops down trees. Alright? And also twofold, that, that tree chopping business is a, that's a dangerous business. And there's a lot of money in that shirt. Some big giant joints, right? It comes from cotton. That's the thing that Esau does. He, he chops down a fruit, a fruit tree, a tree that, uh, you know, uh, has fruits. He's not supposed to chop down anything that produces fruit. And, the, and, the, and, the, and the, once again, the trees represent people too. But the so called white man, he can't get enough. He constantly, he constantly keeps going. There's nothing left. Right. He's on. It said, hell from, from beneath is moved for thee. That low, that low condition, man. It said, hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirred up the dead for thee, which is the other nation. Yeah. Even all the chief ones of the earth. It have raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nation. Yeah, so all these nations that, that they, they're back in that warlike state. The Iranians, they're the Persians. Alright? All these nations are back in that warlike mentality, man. 
And the playing field is level now because these other nations have nuclear weapons, right? So you ain't just gonna step to them on your bullshit. There's gonna be consequences. Oh, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you blaze, you blaze, they blaze. It says, all they shall speak and say unto thee, are thou also become weak as weak? You're going to be the throne, and before then you're thrown, and you're thrown, you lose it slowly. Your economy, man. Pretty soon, your monetary system is going to be unstable like these other nations. Because America is a hard country, a hard currency country. China is a hard currency country, meaning their, um, their fluctuation of their monetary system doesn't move like that like the um, other nations, like you got the Turkish lira, sometimes I should have be moving like somebody that got tachycardia, irregular heart. I'm monitoring, we look at an EKG, that should have just been spiking out all over the place. But American money don't move like that. The um, Chinese money don't move like that. But certain currencies like the, Ch the, the, um, like the um, Turkish lira, that should be spiking all kind of funny. You know what I mean? But pretty soon America's gonna be like that and these other nations that's hard currency countries, their shit gonna start getting out of control right. too. Especially because of uh, Saudi Arabia not making that deal with America. You know? Hey, that's gonna lead to you know these different nations finding, you know, a better way to trade without using the petrol yeah. dollar. And if, if if anybody's trying to figure out what I mean about hard currency countries. Just look at um, just look at the um, forex charts. You got the pound yen, the pound dollar. Just look at all of those um, currencies on the forex and look at their price chart and compare them to the U.S. and you'll see what we're talking about. You know what I mean? It says, "Art thou become like unto us? Thy pump is brought down to the grave." Yeah, thy pride. Because it's uh, the American people and the and and Esau controls America that they're pride, man. These people are proud. Even the trailer trash are proud, yo. Even the trailer trash Edomites are proud, yo. It says, Are thou, it says, Thy proud, thy pump is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vows, the worm is spread under thee. Thy wor worm is corrosion. Yes. The infrastructure of America is fucked up. The bridges is messed up. You got sinkholes, the buildings. You get, you see the scaffolds, man. They're constantly doing patch-up jobs. They putting band-aids on bullet wounds, man. Cause it's hard it is on life support. She's all fucked up. You know what I mean? So they just doing patch-up jobs all throughout. Because um, America's infrastructure is shit. The bridges, you look under the bridges, they bad. Corrosion, man. You know? Ride it out. A lot of these bridges, they're over 100 years old. Man. Yeah. You know? So you know, sooner or later, them bridges are going to give out. Yeah. It says, uh, because how could you, how, how could you go in there when they go in the water and they do the underwater, um, um, What's the shit with the um the torch? The yeah. Welding. The welding, underwater welding or whatever. Look at the Brooklyn Bridge and all that. They um how they with the caissons, look up caissons and how they put the beams, they suck the beams in the water. They put tools and when they when they when they was digging under it, the um the metal plate it further sinks into the floor. So and then they and they pour the concrete or whatever in it. And then they built the bridge over it. You know, look at it. a lot of people died in them because it's really real hot. Real hot in them. You can look it up. Well, I wish I always looked up to see how shit was built. It says, and the worms covered thee, like corrosion. So all that shit is, that technology they did, they didn't figure out, like, yo, all right, the years ahead, how are we going to um, maintain this thing? Like, you know what I mean? The road, the worm, that corrosion, man. Riding out, it's riding. It's riding, the harder it's riding. 
This Harley got um bed sores, man. You might know about bed sores. They if they keep going, they go to the bone. That's called the cubit out of medical term. <laughs> Revelations. Um, gotta stop shaking the oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so this um, once again, this Heart of America is on life support, all right? She's basically on life support, and the Lord is going to put this place out of his misery soon. All right? Let me bring this out. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 8. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain, if so be she may be healed. Yeah, and the balm is a heaven agent. It's not going to be hell. America won't be hell. So it's going to further go down the shit. Financial system is going to be depleted to where they're going to go to the market of peace, RFID microchip. The infrastructure won't be better. Even if they do rebuild, the law going to throw down. So it doesn't matter. It won't be hell. What's not? We would have killed Babylon, but she is not here. Yeah, we would have held it, but she's not held. We ain't going to hold it. The angels ain't held it. The Lord ain't held in this place. Yahweh Shem Yahweh is not blessing America and will not hold them money. Yeah, uh, how much money uh, America is in debt for? Over 30 trillion? More than that. You know? So there's no way possible this place is going to bounce back. All right? Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna crash this economy, and eventually the new currency is gonna be a digital currency. They're done with this place, man. It says, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go, everyone, into his own country. Pretty soon, everybody gonna be going to their own country, man. Going to their own country. Or those in the know, they like, yo, Americans out of here, we out. It says, for her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the sky. Her judgment reaches up to heaven. Why? Because um, America has kept on doing things. And then they built up a, a, a tab or a, 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 a track record. Just like how the feds build up a case, man. Right? Just like a feds build up a case. But well, everybody always want to know when the Lord going to return. What moment? Do the feds tell you what moment they're coming? You know what I mean? The law enforcement tell you? The judges, when they go like, yo, when they, they put the order in, I have it go, they don't let you know. So when you think the most high gonna let you know? They catch you eyes when you're sleeping in the middle of the, in the morning. You can't see, they want to catch you off guard. And if you're in a project, they cut off your water. So you can't flush your narcotics. You know what I mean? And if you're a smart dude that probably put bleach your ass around, it's like it's basically um I forgot a term for it. They know what to do. They know what to do. I right, look, look, look. They they gonna know, they're gonna still get you. You got three people gonna get you. I'm on the description. Hey man, they gonna they gonna do it. Look, look. Isaiah 13 to 7. 6. How ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Yeah, the day of the Lord at hand is going to come as a destruction, swift, abruptly. You're going to get caught off guard, man. You're in that deep sleep. You can't see. You get woke out of your sleep and your eyes is burning. You're trying to see what the hell is going on. Or a lot of alarm clock go off. You're like, damn, I just shut my eyes. You know? It's already time to get up. Yeah, man. Quick. Therefore shall all heads be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. Oh, man. It's 
so people go take a heart attack on sight, shit themselves, we all gonna be scared. Because the Lord ain't gonna have no smile on his face, he's standing on business. Playtime is over. Like the subscribe. It says, and they shall be afraid. Pains and sorrows yeah. shall take hold on them. That's right, because look, a lot of people were talking shit, and then they, they know it's time's up. It's, it's time's up to see the Lord. They're going to know it's the Lord. He's standing on the main ship. Esau, you already know, he's going, oh, we done fucked up. The other nations I was going to leave with them, oh, they done fucked up. Those that done, that sold out. Because this defies all the odds of uh, the laws of this world. The Lord standing on the main ship, like, what? How is that possible? They know they are messed up. That hell's going to be removed, you know? Everybody in that day, in their spirit, is going to know. That's the how about you're going to shot. That's the how about shot coming back. In their spirit, you're going to know that. All right? Scripture's mentioned in our second end of the 13th chapter, the Lord is going to be on, on top of the chariots, man. All right? So you're going to know, you're going to know in your spirit, like, oh shit, that's the Lord, you know? He said, all oh, eyes shall see him. Everybody that's on the planet Earth, they're going to see and witness the Lord coming back, man. Okay. If you're alive in that day, you're going to witness the Lord coming back. Oh, he's going right. to bring you back to life. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. going to yeah. bring you back to life. Everybody got a taste of that wrath yeah. that's judgment. Yeah, yeah. hell ain't talking about some place you can burn forever. There's going to be souls resurrected, you know, to taste that second death. Hey, because it happened when, when, when our Lord came back. When he came, when he came back, when he died, he came and rose from the dead, right? Those that, those that went on uh, died, they rose along with the Lord, too, man. So you had, just imagine you seeing your uncle that you buried last week coming down the block, coming down the street, like, hold up, we just, we just buried you last week. You know, that's the type of shit we about to do with this, man. You know, some real spooky shit, like, like, uh, the boy said, uh, and they shall be afraid, pangs and sorrow shall take hold of them, they shall be in pain as a woman as that travaileth. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Yeah, they're gonna be scared, terrified, man. Look, man, like a woman that's about to go in labor, man, those pains. That's how people gonna be, yo. Your toughest of the tough guys, your military, your ones that, um, you know, that's in the military, but the spirit gonna be on them, the Lord gonna put the spirit on them to fight. Man, they ain't gonna wanna do that. Hey, hey, I'm like, yo, who this, who we up against? Hey, this generation, as far as they gonna man, say that, there's mountains in the sky, there's ships in the sky, hey, they're not moving. Hey, this, is, this is the weakest generation ever, man. Yeah. Like the, 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 the most pussiest generation known to men, yes. all right? The scriptures mention that um, they will be like, you know, uh, in Egypt, they will be like, you know, women, you know? Yeah. The spirit that the Lord's gonna put on, you know, these, these uh, so-called men. Because they ain't real men in the society, man. All right? You know, and it's going to be proven, man, in that day, man. All right? I don't give a fuck how much niggas you shot, how much guns you, you, you got in your crib. All right? When that time comes, you're going to see a lot of these niggas that, that you think that they they hard and whatever. They, yeah, they, 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 you know what I mean? Yo, you're going to see they're a bunch of bitches, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Hey, like the mother said, man. Maybe it's hard to man. Right. You know? All the tough guys, all the badasses. I knock niggas out. I you know, you know, my man, my man like girls. You know? <laughs> they gonna act like females, man. Even Cardi B just said that. Yeah. Cardi B yeah. said, you gonna draft who? <laughs> These TikTok niggas? <laughs> niggas that do the hip dance? Yeah, yeah. You gonna draft these niggas? That's doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> niggas wearing their pants. 
down their fucking ankles and shit. TikTok challenge them. That's what you want to drive for war? Yeah, you know, they said they said that this generation has the lowest amount of testosterone in mankind, in human history. The men in America has the lowest levels of testosterone. These dudes want to look pretty, like 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 bitches, bitches. man. Doing they 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 um painting their nails, doing their eyebrows. Eyelashes too, right? Yeah. Do all that funny shit, yo. Like, yo. You can play niggas like Chris Brown. They getting extensions. Yeah. And for you females, that's the niggas you need. Because we ain't doing that shit. We ain't doing that shit, man. You know? It's going to like scripted shit. Like scripted mission in um, Andrews, man. You know, it's gonna be a time like never before, man. Right. Since, you know, since there's been a nation on the earth where, you know, things that we've never seen, man, all right? We talk about robotic fucking dolls and shit. With Dude, guns shit moving fast. Right, with, with, with uh, you know what I'm saying? Guns strapped on them, all right? Like, I'm talking about all type of shit. Terminator, straight up Terminator AI robots, man. We ain't never seen no shit like that. So just imagine what, you know, they, they, they get those robots the green lights to really like let off on shit, man. So, all right? That's gonna be a time like, you know, like never before. Motherfuckers gonna be scared out there. But what's gonna separate us from, from these niggas, man? See, we, we know what time it is, all right? We were we rehearsing right now in our mind how the shit going because the Lord gave us the blueprint. The Lord already told us, like, you know what I'm saying? What to, what to look out for. Yeah, like, yo, you know? Like, to look out for the disease outbreak. Right. Men out here, men and women out here, like, young in the streets, it's going to cause more diseases, more deaths, well, like, because the bodies is not, is not um, put away, which those bodies are going to kill the vegetation and food because the smell in the air, right. it rocks things out. Like, if you have a fresh food with some nastiness in the air, it'll spoil that food, right? So that's going to cause, it's going to trigger a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's going to trigger a whole list of other things. So you got people out here dead, the diseases, and the financial collapse. People commit. It's not on order. Right. People commit um, uh, uh, when they eat each other, cannibalism. You know, it's, it's going to be all types of shit. You got crews hunting mm -hmm. people. People going to be bugging out. Suicide. Yeah, man. Crews suicide. Yeah, suicide. Suicide is going to be trending. Yeah. You said trending. <laughs> it's going to be the suicide challenge. <laughs> you might have a first thing. You might have a person kill their family, then themselves. Well, that's going on right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's going on right now. Yeah. That's, that's not new. All right, yeah. so, you know, with that, we like to give all praises to you. How was our share? How was our share? How was our share? How was our share? Double honor to our apostles, our bishops, and honor to our God that pushes to Friday sincerity, week in and week out. All right? Shalom. Shalom.